Hi YouTube, it's Mariana and I'm doing the get ready with me tag. Um, I thought I'd film it today, I've got nothing else to do and yeah, it's a great day to film it for. It's actually not that bad weather today so that's always good. Um, I'm going to literally do my whole face, I haven't moisturised, I haven't done anything. Um, the only thing I've done is cleanse and tone. Um, but I spoke about that in my last video, which was my uh, skincare video, or a couple of videos before that. Um, so I put on my Claudiel, Claudel, Claudel, is it Claudel? Claudel Beauty um, Elixir. <clears throat> and um, I literally just spray that in front of my face, there's loads of mist everywhere. I, I like the smell, it's growing on me slowly, but it's it's alright. Um, and then I'm using my skin, Skimple? Simple um, Kind of Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser because where the weather isn't, well, it's still sunny, but not amazingly sunny. I've kind of been using this because it's just, it sits on my face nicely. Um, I'm looking up that way because my mirror's there, so I apologise. And I've just come out of the shower, so my hair is a mess and still wet. <laughs> and then I put an eye cream on. I've got the Nivea Visage Q10 Wrinkle Plus. And um, this for me is really good. It's light, um, and it just I don't know. It seems to last forever as well. There's still loads of products in here, and I just really like it. Um, I use my ring fingers and just massage that in. I always do the side. Let's move this fringe out of the way. I always do the side here because I'm so scared of getting crow's feet that I really, really take care of that area. And then just because I have this, I use the um, That Girl Brightening Face Primer at the moment. Um, I wouldn't say it's brightening, but it's a good primer. Um, I just put a bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I use the Real Techniques um, Stippling Brush to put that on. I literally just dab it, and then sort of dab it around my face. Blend it in. My skin has really cleared up at the moment. Um, I had a bit of a, a bit of a month of just spots all along here, and they're finally clearing up. So that's quite nice. Um, and also, I'd like to apologise about my eyebrows. I'm currently trying to get them a th like more thicker, and the advice I was given from the beautician, where I normally get my eyebrows done, is just grow them as much as you can handle to grow them. Um, and then come in and we'll reshape them and sort of make them a bit bigger. So they're horrible at the moment. But yeah. What can I do? Oh well. And um, then for foundation, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix um, foundation. It's got God knows how many things in there. Um, I'm in shade 52. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I just use one pump on the back of my hand and also I quite like it because you can see how much product you have left. Again with the stippling brush I just stipple and um, kind of try and get as much product onto my face and off the back of my hand. And then I blend it all in. I don't really put anything on my forehead except for what's sort of left because you'd never really see my forehead. My forehead is covered by a fringe, so I don't really use anything on my forehead. Um, I do spend a lot of time blending in the product. Um, I just feel it's it's better that way. Then I've been using my Bobbi Brown Corrector, um, sorry, Creamy Concealer in Cool Sands. And it looks like this. 
and I literally dab my ring finger in and dab on my face. And then smooth it out with my hands. And do the same with the other side. It just seems to brighten up my eyes a lot more. And um, then I leave the rest of my face for the time being. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. eyelid um, primer. Here yeah, is an eyelid primer. Just put that on both. And I just blend it all in. And that's that. And then I bought this MAC palette, and, well, a couple of months ago off eBay, um, it is original and everything, and there's Tempting, uh, it's the Tempting Eyeshadows in 4, Next to Nothing, Tempting, Sharp and Dark Edges. Um, and then I normally use this colour which is Next to Nothing, and then I use a massive, I think this is a Laura Mercier brush, I think. Um, it's so old, it's rubbed off, um, but it's a massive sort of angled brush, and I kind of just sweep on the product under my eyes. Kind of acts as my base, and also it's just sort of easier with this brush. Ew, ew, ew. Then I use the Urban Decay um, shadow brush that you got free from the Urban Decay Naked palette and I use that one which is tempting and I just pack it onto the brush as so. So I get both ends and just lightly sort of pack it on as my eyeliner. And I take a little bit at the bottom as well. And I only really go sort of a quarter of the way in with five size shadows because I don't know, I just like the way it looks at the moment. This is sort of my summer. And then I take a 217 matte blending brush, blend that in. I blend that along and across the crease. And blend under the eye as well. Just so you've got um not too heavy of a of a thing, just nice enough and just sort of easy to work with. I haven't actually been wearing any eyeliner at the moment, I'm not feeling eyeliner, it just seems to crawl off my face and die a horrible death. Um, so I've been putting on a lot more mascara and now watch me fail because me and mascara, yeah, I don't count that well. Um, I have been using the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. Um, I got this, as I've mentioned in every video that I've mentioned this product in, from um, Dolly Bird 98 we did a swap and I literally why do we put funny faces? then I move on to my second mascara and it's the Nuvea Lashes Noir Mascara and um, I got this free in a jolly box and it's Still amazing. And this happens as well. 
always get mascara everywhere but where it should be. And then I've been using the Rimmel Scandalize Mascara just to give it a extra bit of boost. This is again in black, massive wand. Oh, my eyes are watering. And then I use the Bourjois uh, Line Effect Mascara and it has this very odd looking brush. So it's sort of flat and then at the top of the spike. And I use this literally just to separate. Separate my lashes. And as always, I've got like a little bit. Extra G mascara. Highly irritating that is. Um, and then once I've finished my eyes, so this would be sort of my finished, finished eyes. Now it's finished. Um, I would go on to my powder, which is the Collection 2000 Last Daily Powder. I've been really liking this. This is in number one fair. And I use a Eco Tools blush brush. And I literally just pack it on and then kind of dab. So I do use those two. I know this is like a little bit of a but in here. How rude. And then I use a powder buff. And if this is from Sally's, it's a face secret one. And it's literally just a flat one. And I literally just buff everything in together. And that is that. And then I use my Sleek Face Contouring Kit. This is in light, where it comes with a contour color and also a highlighter. Now, the Benefit Hula has got these brushes and these are perfect, in my opinion, for, um, for contouring. I dab on the, the contouring color. I literally just blend. In. I was actually a professional makeup artist that told me to use these brushes. I just use a little bit on the side of my nose just to make it a little bit more skinny. Um, and then I think this one was from Dandy Lion. And that's uh, that I use for highlighter. But I put my blush on first. At the moment, I'm loving uh, Pointly Petal by MAC. Um, it's a satin finish. And I just use an old number seven brush that I got free with like um, a makeup kit a long time ago. Swirl it in. That. and if I feel I've put too much on I kind of just blend it all together and then I use my highlighter from the sleek contouring kit dab it in again with one of these and I literally just just above my cheekbones pat it in a little bit on my cupid bow and down the middle of my nose then I use my Garnier roll-on um, this is the anti uh, dark circle one. I think this was in fair, or like the lighter shade that they do. I'll just put it underneath my eye. Over. And 
and then that is my eye area and everything finished. Again, it's a little blend, I like doing that. Um, and then I would put a lipstick on. At the moment, I'm kind of playing in between a lot of colours. Um, but today, I think I may go with something to match my top. I can't find anything. I have far too many lipsticks. Far, far too many lipsticks. Um, I know what I'm going to go with. Doesn't really match my top, but I like the colour anyway. It's Topshop lipstick and it's Brighton Rocks. I do wear this quite often. And that is my finished look. I will, uh, just before I set out the door, I will put um, another spritz of this. Um, I've been really loving this product as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, that is my finished everyday makeup look that I'm sporting at the moment. So, thank you for watching the Get Ready With Me tag. Uh, if you'd like to go onto my Twitter, Tumblr, um, or Instagram, it's Indie Queen Maz, but exactly like my channel name. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I don't know where you've come from, but thank you ever so much, and love each and every, every one of you. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Toodle.